Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Brigadier General Jeffrey L. Ryan, Air Component Commander, Virginia Air National Guard, we welcome you to the 192nd Wing Change of Command. I am First Lieutenant Haley Jeffress from the 192nd Aircraft Maintenance Squadron, and I will be the narrator for today's ceremony. Today you will witness the change of command from Colonel Frank J. Lobash to Colonel Mark D. Piper. Today's ceremony is considered an outdoor event. We ask that our military members in the audience please wear your covers and render salutes for musical honors and the singing of our national anthem. Our civilian guests are invited to stand with our military members at appropriate times throughout the ceremony. This ceremony is deeply rooted in military honor and dates back to the 18th century during the reign of Frederick the Great of Prussia. At that time, organizational flags were developed with color arrangements and symbols unique to each particular unit. To the flag and its commander, the sol soldiers of the unit would dedicate their loyalty, trust, and allegiance. When a change of command took place, the flag was passed to the individual assuming command. This gesture was accomplished in front of the unit so that all could see and witness their new leader assuming their dutiful position. The one who held the flag held the soldier's allegiance. This tradition has survived over 200 years in the United States and throughout military history. Leading today's formation is 2nd Lieutenant Russell McMillan, 192nd Intel Squadron. Bearing the wing guide on is our 192nd Wing Command Chief, Chief Master Sergeant Christopher Amburn. We're especially pleased to recognize our honored guests this morning. Please hold your applause until all guests are announced. State Senator of Virginia, Senator Bryce Reeves, and his guest, Mr. Lee Fox. Adjutant General of Virginia, Major General Timothy Williams. Chief Master Sergeant James Perfita, Senior Enlisted Leader of the Virginia National Guard. National Guard Assistant to the Commander, Air Combat Command, Major General George Dagnan. Assistant Adjutant General, Air of Virginia, Brigadier General Tony Lord. Assistant Adjutant General Air of Vermont, Brigadier General Craig Campbell. The first fighter wing commander, Colonel David Lopez, and his wife, Dr. Linda Lopez. 633rd Air Base Wing Commander, Clinton Ross, and 633rd Air Base Wing Command Chief, Chief Master Sergeant Gregory Peterson. We also have in attendance, Colonel Lobash's spouse, Lieutenant Colonel Retired, Cheryl Lynn Lobash, and their children, Jake and Emma. Colonel Piper's spouse, Mrs. Christine Piper, and their daughters, Autumn and Amelia Piper. And a final warm welcome to all directors, commanders, chiefs, first sergeants, supervisors, and members of the Team Langley and Fort Eustis communities. Organizations, along with our community leaders and members of the 192nd Wing. Thank you all for attending today. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the entrance of the official party and remain standing for the presentation of the colors by the Langley Air Force Base Honor Guard Team, the playing of the national anthem by the Air Force Band, and the invocation by the 192nd Wing Chaplain, Matthew and Corvaya.
Let us pray. God, the one who shows up for us like a compassionate mother, a hopeful friend, challenging feedback from the chief. God, it turns out showing up is a gift, a calling for leaders too. So thank you for the ways Colonel Lobash showed up to lead our wing. We say goodbye today with a mix of sadness and anticipation. And yet we welcome Colonel Piper with openness and readiness. We pray that you anoint him to show up in his own unique and creative ways and synergize with the skills and capabilities of our unit to continue and exceed our performance outcomes. May we also in the wing be blessed and anointed to show up to our obligation to follow and to lead. And what an awesome and sacred task we share. May we encourage one another to act with fidelity and moral excellence. Amen. Thank you, Honor Guard Team, Air Force Band, and Chaplain Horvaya. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, Air Component Commander, Virginia Air National Guard, Brigadier General Jeffrey L. Ryan. Senator Reeves, Mr. Fox, General Williams, all our distinguished guests, our TFI partners from across Joint Base Langley Eustis, the Lobash family, the Piper family, and of all, all of our special friends and guests. Uh, we are very pleased to have you join us today for this very important occasion. To recognize the change of command from Colonel Frank Kid Lobash to Colonel Mark Pied Piper. Kid, you have ably led the wing during the most dynamic period in the Virginia Air Guard's history. You drove the wing to operational excellence and a readiness level that our nation demands. And when the call came for Red Horse, cyber operations, intel, security forces, F-22 ops and maintenance, and all across the wing, your leadership made it happen. The list of accomplishments of these airmen is too numerous to recount. As a legacy, you should be extremely proud. But I would submit to you that you have an even bigger legacy. As I spent time yesterday visiting with airmen across the wing, they shared with me the personal impact that you had on them, their careers, and their families. You have touched us all in ways that brought out the best in each one of us. And I can think of no better way to say it than to simply say, you are the vein. Pod and the Piper family, welcome to the vein. As we stand here today, our airmen from across the wing are mobilized and deployed across the globe. Whether it be the current global threat, future missions, or the unknown, it is your job to make sure we are always ready when the nation calls or when the Commonwealth calls. The readiness of our airmen is job one. You are bringing a wealth of experience and a new perspective to the wing. Know that you are joining a team of professionals that represent the very best that our nation has to offer and they stand ready for your leadership and welcome you and your family wholeheartedly into the Vang family. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 192nd Wing, Colonel Frank J. Lobash. Thank you. Thank you, General Ryan, for those words. You know, one of the challenges, this is our fourth ceremony this weekend, so I've got the green book out, so you know that means we're digging deep. But uh, 
you know, I want to thank everybody. Uh, and to General Ryan's thanks for putting the hangar together, maintenance, 633rd, uh, all the help to get us into this place, into the ceremony, and getting everything set up, and I know torn down after this. So thank you very much. And uh, add a welcome to the TFI partners, Wing Commanders over here, Clint, uh, Shotgun, and everybody else who's uh, here to join us. Thanks for uh, coming out on a Sunday afternoon and giving up your time. Pied, I'm going to start with you. A little bit odd on the order right now. What I want to tell you is this wing is unique and this wing is amazing. The challenge that I felt when I started, and I think the same thing you'll feel fairly quickly in the next week, is it's up to us to empower this wing to do what they can. I know you're up for it. I know your family is going to support you with it. And I look forward to seeing where you bring this wing. Please know at any time I will always be there if you want to reach out and have a talk. Because trust me, I did it with multiple former wing commanders sitting in this office. I want to thank my wife, my kids, my parents, my brother and his family for being here and taking the time to come to this change of command. But most of all, what I want to focus on is you across the back row. I see the horse in the back. I see a student flight. I see ops, I see maintenance, I see a support group, I see med group, I see some debt one folks. So we just want to thank everybody for taking the time out of their busy Sunday to be here and recognize the change of command. I am the vein. Those are four words that I used two years ago to ask each of you to take a leap with me. At the beginning, maybe it was just, you know, a logo. Maybe it seemed like it was just a catchy phrase, right, that we could say. But together, I believe we've defined what the meaning of those four words were. After all, the place that inspired those four words was being around you, the Airmen of the 192nd. I saw a spark and a potential in every single one of you, whether a full-time AGR technician, Title V civilian or a DSG part-timer, the one thing that I saw was your potential and the fact that every single person in this room chooses to serve. Nobody forces you, you choose to serve. And whether you serve in this uniform or your civilian job uniform, it's that service that drives what we do and makes us who we are. And so with that, we've met the demands of the National Defense Strategy, as General Ryan alluded to. We've always been there over the last two years. We've exceeded expectations, and that is due to your hard work and your commitment. And I believe you've laid the foundation with momentum for an absolute spectacular way ahead. So in today's great power competition with Russia and China, as the National Defense Strategy very clearly spells out, it's not an option to stand still. And it's also not a room of chiefs and 06s that are going to make it happen. As I said in my newsletter this week, status quo today is not greatness. We need greatness. Status quo is failure. So I ask that you take that and move it forward and realize that now we have come to know that I am the vein is actually the self-actualization of every single airman in this way. You've made the leap with me, and I thank you for that. You've served your community, you've served your commonwealth, you've served your country. And I ask that you continue that. I salute you, I trust you, and please know, I am the man. Thank you, and Godspeed, 196.
this time, the men and women of the 192nd Wing will now present Colonel Lobash with a final salute. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. General Ryan will now perform the official change of command. Publish the order. Attention to orders. Under the provisions of Air Force Instruction 51-604 and Special Order Number GW-90, Colonel Frank J. Lobash relinquishes command of the 192nd Wing, and Colonel Mark D. Piper assumes command, effective 11 August 2019. Officers, post. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate everyone being here, for those that came voluntarily, for those that didn't come voluntary. Sorry about that, but I appreciate your presence anyway. Um, I echo all the welcome to, uh, to all our DBs, uh, and especially our community partners. Thanks for taking the time to be here today. I know not every base has the luxury of a great relationship uh, with our legislators, our, our uh, Chamber of Commerce, and I appreciate uh, you taking the time to do that and continue that for all the support that you give Langley uh, and that you give to the Virginia Air National Guard, so thanks for being here. Uh, General Williams, to you uh, and to General Ryan, uh, thank you for your trust. Thank you for your faith and, and this opportunity. Uh, it's the honor of a lifetime, and I sincerely appreciate you uh, giving me this opportunity to lead this fantastic group of women and men here in the 192nd. Um, I also look forward to working with the entire Joint Force Headquarters team, uh, so with General Lord, Chief Wright, Chief Tia, uh, and, uh, and Colonel Lands. Uh, looking forward to continuing to build that relationship, and thank you for that. Um, Colonel Lobash, you have been extraordinarily generous with your time and insight uh, with me. Uh, your, the time you've taken to share your wisdom, to share your insights, uh, is greatly appreciated. Uh, and it's just a sign of your character and your selfless leadership. The example that you have set for us, the amount of care that you have for the men and women in this wing is second to none. Uh, and your influence will inspire me and everyone in this room for decades to come. Thank you for everything that you've done for the bank. As we know, life at Langley is a partnership, so for all the TFI partners right here, I haven't gotten to meet any of you yet, but I'm looking forward to working with you all. Uh, it is a team sport here at Langley, and I'm looking forward to working with all the commanders and the command chiefs and everyone on your team. Uh, so thanks for sharing the time here today. Uh, speaking of great partnerships, there's one partnership that's most important to me, and that's my wonderful wife, Christine. Uh, so many talents uh, that you have, in addition to being a wonderful officer, a wonderful lawyer, uh, you're an amazing wife, an amazing mother, uh, an amazing friend. Uh, to have someone of your intelligence and, and wit uh, as my wife is, is very humbling and uh, I can't thank you enough for your support, uh, for everything you've done. I love you. Uh, to my daughters, uh, Autumn and Amelia, thank you for uh, sitting still for a few minutes. I appreciate that. Autumn, thanks for putting your phone down. Appreciate that for a little bit. Amelia, uh, thank you to you this time. So just a 30-second story. 
At a prior change of command, Amelia thought it would be a good idea to take the program and start doing graffiti on it, especially over the face of the presiding official at that particular time. Uh, fortunately, that was uh, General Degnan who did not fire me on the spot, but I appreciate you not doing that today. Uh, but seriously, uh, girls, you inspire me. Uh, you've made my life more complete uh, than anything else in this world, and I love you too. Thank you. Uh, Mom, real quickly, uh, just for you, you've been there from the beginning. You taught me values, you taught me work ethic, uh, and you taught me to assume the best in people. And I know Dad's kind of watching us right now, and I say the same thing to him. Uh, I'm so happy for you and Jerry, uh, and it's really special to have you both here today. Thank you very much. Uh, Steve, yes, I have to mention you too. Uh, you and Lisa and Katie and James have always made me feel welcome in the family, and I appreciate you being here and sharing time today. Thank you so much. Uh, and then, uh, then the Zhang gang, there they are. So Dot and Rick Zhang, prior Vangster, uh, old Vangster from, sorry, not old, a previous Vangster from back in the Viper days uh, at Richmond, call sign Bang for any of you that uh, may remember him from past days. Uh, as I understand it, you primarily came here just to uh, screw up your snackle bill from 20 years ago, so get that taken care of. But uh, other than that, uh, honestly, you guys are like family, and for everything uh, that you've helped our family with, you've kept us grounded, and you're just tremendous friends. Thanks you for sharing today. I obviously wouldn't be here today if I hadn't had a lot of phenomenal mentors in my career. Too many to mention, uh, but I do want to mention two specifically today, uh, and that's Colonel Chris Shepard and Chief David Callahan. You guys personify integrity, service, and excellence. You have taught me about leadership, but probably more importantly, you've taught me about myself. You've challenged me, you forced me to ask myself hard questions. And not only am I a better leader because of your two uh, numerous examples of mentorship with me, uh, but you made me a better human being. And I really appreciate you guys being here today. It's an honor uh, to have you guys share today. Finally, uh, and in closing, most importantly to the men and women of the 192nd, three quick things. First is that I'm an outsider. I know that. So if you've got some questions about me or some, even some skepticism about me, that's okay. That's normal. Uh, we'll get to know each other over time. Uh, and the onus is on me to earn your trust. This wing does not belong to me. This wing belongs to us. And it starts with me earning your trust, and I intend to do that. Thank you for being professional. Thank you for being open-minded. Uh, and I'm sure we can tackle all the challenges that will always face us in the future. So I appreciate you for what you do for that. To that end, as Colonel Lobach said, the wing is on a good trajectory. Our priorities are going to stay exactly the same. Mentorship, readiness, recruiting and retention, and partnerships. They form the foundation of everything we've done here, and they set the standard for the excellence that this wing is known for. And we're gonna, we're gonna continue that. And lastly, thank you for what you do. Serving our nation and serving the Commonwealth and the demands that that places is not always easy. And I know that. It takes sacrifice and it takes dedication. So whether you're a full-timer, a traditional, a civilian, whether or not you're holding the wrench, a throttle, a keyboard, a bulldozer, spreadsheet, decon kit, recruiting pamphlet, all of it matters. What you do matters. What you do makes a difference. And what you do is appreciated. It makes a difference. It begins with each one of us. And together, as we do our jobs, that's what allows this 192nd team, the Virginia Air National Guard team, to do what we do. It really doesn't matter if we're assisting local communities in a time of disaster or sending raptors to the other side of the world. It's one team and we all contribute to it. So I say thank you for your service. It is the privilege of a lifetime to join this team and it's something I've been waiting to say for a while 
now I get to say, I am the bank. Thank you for letting me join your team, and I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you, and God bless. Mrs. Christine Piper, on behalf of the men and women of the 192nd Wing, we would like to present you with these flowers to welcome you to our wing. At this time, the men and women of the 192nd Wing will now present Colonel Piper with their first salute. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the Air Force song and for the departure of the official party. We request that you remain in place until the commanders, their spouses, and distinguished guests have departed. This concludes today's ceremony. Thank you for attending.